Okay, hello everyone. Back with something I've been wanting to do for a while. Alan Wake Nightmare... Really? Can you do it on the episodes? No? Alan Wake on normal difficulty. So hardcore. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I love this game so much. This is the first time I'm playing the PC version. Got all the options cranked up. It says it's running I've at 200 FPS. Should be good. But this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh, this looks really nice on PC. No. Okay, before we get going, can I... Brightness... Wow, I guess we're going all the way down. And I'm probably going to lower my screen brightness a little bit. So that's what it should be at. That's really dark. I can kind of understand why a nightmare is locked. There are certain collectibles you can only get in Nightmare and it unlocks more of the story. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Is that... Alan? I kind of want to call that number. A trick games have used in the past before. Oh! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Think you're God. Ugh. You think you can just make up stuff? Ugh. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama. Ugh. You missed your deadline! Damn. Alright. You can't stop me! I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. One weird thing is, uh, this game defaults to over left shoulder, and you keep having to correct it on your own. Stamina is no joke in this game either. It runs out pretty fast. Oh, that sucks. Now that the game is actually running, it's only at 30. Hurry! 
something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Okay, you do reload faster by tapping. I love that mechanic. It's so perfect in a horror game. darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Time to aim. This shouldn't be that hard. I've beaten this game on Nightmare before. chugging the frame rate. I might have to 
tone down the options just a little bit. I can keep this up forever. Cutscenes have really high unlocked frame rates, but the rest of the game is kind of maybe. It jumped up to like 40 something at one point, and this game doesn't have a GeForce optimized setting. So I figured since it's an old console game and it had a PC port in 2012, I might be able to get away with it all the way up. Maybe just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Does look like a nice little town. I always have to go, I have to go bullshit on little towns in fiction because I've driven past quite a few living in Montana. They're everywhere. The least ones here, that's not what they look like. It's usually just like three scattered houses. Let's act like and a lot of them are like shacks. Go stand next to that old channel. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, man. If you don't mind me saying. I I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made oh, I can go up here. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. I'm gonna try something real quick. Let's just try that to eight. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. I think that might Barry make a big difference. Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Al, 
Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Oh, God, thermoses. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not planning on getting all the collectibles. I've done it before on 360. Oh, I gotta go around. I don't, I don't need to do it again. The pages are interesting. I'll go out of my way for pages. Yeah. You need to give it a good side whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh, so we're just going to go to the bathroom and say, hey, asshole, give me the keys. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Let's get to that vacation. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut. I don't house. remember that. <laughs> and I've played this game quite a few times. Can you believe Four or five this times. Place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in 
once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. Uh, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. How far back does it let you go? Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. It won't give me sprint right now. Oh, it's gonna let me go all the way up here, isn't it? The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. He pronounces things weird. I can't remember what else he's pronounced weird, but... Caldera instead of caldera. Oh, that looks so nice. This is the most optimized game ever. <laughs> I should probably be able to run this max settings at 60 with uh, with the setup I have and considering this is not old old but a few years old. God, this is amazing though. This is like my favorite type of landscape. Mountains, lakes, forests. It's perfect. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, man. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. music is just perfect. I've kind of lost, I guess the last couple times I played this game, I kind of lost the um, appreciation for it, because it was mostly just... I used to be a pretty avid achievement hunter. This game has some uh, fairly satisfying achievements to get, so it was a lot of... Let's uh, examine. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. But yeah, I would always come back to this game just to hunt for collectibles and stuff, and it kind of sucked a lot of the fun out of it. Especially um, one achievement that I got, which I was pretty sure was bugged. A love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, right. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Oh, that's that. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Man, I wish I could do that. I thought we could be happy here.
Alice? Oh. Honey? This is a pretty rough cabin. I don't even know why I'm bothering picking these up. They do literally nothing. Oh, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for but you. achievements. And the achievements, like, it was evilly spaced too. It was like you got an achievement at 20, and then you got one for your all 100. So if you got, like, 80-some, you got nothing. So no reward for just doing a good job. Surprise! Alice? What is this? Work, I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Yeah, don't pick up work on vacation. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Let me see. I believe... I don't think it makes you play a whole chapter in one sitting, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. Before we do, let's see if it will take me back. Because I'm sure you want to see this. Yeah, it does. Alright, see you next time.